with any Puerto Ricans here. And uh, when I picked up Boogie, which is what I call a Boogie back then, I was breaking first. I picked up Boogie from the streets, um, watching older guys. Back then, if you was young, you was either watching the pimps and the drug dealers, or you was watching the talented people. And I moved from this area to this area. I learned from the talented people. I followed them, and I became a well-known street dancer. <laughs> about girls, you know, getting respect from the homeboys, get the hoodlums to go up to you and give you a pound without dissing you or beating you up and shit, you know, or without having to get into the fights, because, you know, everybody looked at you as a, like a ghetto celebrity. Take it out, you toy. 
Ah yeah, coming straight out the boogie down Bronx, New York. Rock steady, cool, full effect, mighty Zulu nation. Kick us up, my dear. Floor checker one two, yeah. Floor checker one two, uh huh. Floor checker one two. Floor checker one two. Floor checker one two, uh huh. Floor checker one two. This hit take goes out to all the true B-boys out there The Boogie Boys and the Break Boys, know what I'm saying? And we about to send off all the brothers out there in Europe Out in Japan, Hawaii, LA, Atlanta, Florida All the B-boys all over the world Check it out, check it out
while back in the jungle.
when I was about five years old, I started dancing, um, book, um, doing the robot. <laughs> I was like the only Hispanic kid doing the robot. And as years went along, I started seeing things in the street that bugged me out. The first thing I got to, the first real glimpse of uh, B-Boying I saw was um, in my block on Longwood Avenue in Fox. But this kid came up to me, he saw me doing a robot. He said, are you a B-Boy? I said, B-Boy? It's a B-Boy. And he started going out on the floor. And I was like, what? I mean, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. After that, that was about 77, 78. I started breaking or b-boying what was called then. And then uh, I got a little notoriety in, in the neighborhood, the small neighborhood for breaking. But when the year 80 came, 78 came, it died. And I was like, damn, I went to a cold crush jam and I tried to get loose. Everybody was like, that shit is played out, it's played out. So I said, uh-oh, I said, I gotta find something else. So a couple of years went by, then I saw Electric Boogie. When I saw this dancing, I mean, I thought breaking but look, um, freaked me out, but when I saw Boogie, I was like, what are they doing? The guys were dislocating their bodies and whatnot, and I couldn't comprehend that. So it took me a while to get that, but then my boys got me into it. I learned Boogie, boom, breaking came right back out. So it's more like what a breaker would do. So it was more like, it was more characters, you know what I mean? Everything was more funkier. So we created that style. We started a style called Drunk Style, where we could drink, take sips of brew and then act when we're drunk. You know what I mean? We do hiccups, heartbeats, everything. We used to freak out. And we used to get zooted a lot, we used to get hot. So that all made us come out with these crazy moons. But to me, Boogie was a, an epitome of dance for me because the isolation is so incredible. I mean, you look at modern dance and ballet and jazz, their isolation is pretty good. Their technique is incredible. But when it comes to isolation, no one can isolate the body better than a Boogie. From everything from the jaw, to the shoulder, to the knee, to the fingers. You know what I mean? Chest. But how did you learn? Learn like everybody else. They call it savage schooling. No school, so the only way you can do it is if you go home and practice. The way you went, the school for boogieing and popping and locking was the schoolyard. It was never the street, so we eliminate the word street dance. Schoolyards, clubs, community centers. The only drive we had was the drive of com comp competition. See, the more competitive you were, the better you would get. Rather than have somebody cracking a whip and programming you to do it, you don't love it as much. But when you go home and practice hard to be the best, that's when everything comes out, the emotion. Like when you look at Bruce Lee, he put everything into one punch. When a, a regular dancer would just hit it like this, people go, bam! So you see everything from the face to the arms, the tension, the knees, everything. Now, if I was over in Brazil and I wanted to get down with the Rocksteady crew, what would it take? How would I find y'all and everything? Well, there ain't no other way to get in Rocksteady but the battle. If you want to be in RC, you got to battle. Either one of the members or we stick you on somebody and see how good you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wiggles! Here's Mr. Wiggles! Can I hear y'all say, go Wiggles, go Wiggles, go! I can't hear you! Yo, get focused! Yo, yo, yo!
out funky muñeca coming back at you right now i have some people that were greatly influenced by africa mambada and the, the hip-hop culture in general rock steady and representing from right to left is say your name man hello Vegs oh, almighty <laughs> i'm smart pop master fable my boy ken swift wiggle crazy legs <laughs> b-boy zulu gremlin Hip-hop, just like what Van Moe says, has its negative and positive sides. But one thing that um, we can say, it was more culturally bound. I mean, none of the elements were separated. If you, to, in order to have a culture, it's not just music. Music isn't culture. Music is an aspect of culture. You know, art is part of culture. Food is culture. How you dress is culture. What are you guys doing now to help some of the younger people in your community? I mean, have you taken anybody under your oh, wing? Oh, are you teaching young yeah. people about hip-hop right now? The main message to kids, man, is that you got to know that there's a whole society of people against you, and every move that you make is being watched. So if you want to really survive in this world, man, you got to make the decision. And you got to say, okay, I got two people I can follow. I can follow the drug dealer, or I can follow the people that are creative in the hip-hop culture. You know what I'm saying? Those are your two role models, and which one are you going to pick?
down to bed. About to win. Come on, you know the end. A little deep end. That's a cab. I'm a man, I'm a man. And what you look like. And when you take the sand. And when you make it to hand. And when you take the sand. And when you rock the fuck you beat. And with the mic in your hand. Check it out now. You don't stop. You can't. You won't stop. And you won't stop. You can't. You don't stop. That body rock. You're going on and and on. And don't be misled like a hot butter. Oh, say what? They're going brand. The butter ain't on. Like sip on. And then you rock with them period until the break of dawn. dawn. I sing a funk and song because they know my rhymes will never, never go wrong. So check it out now. You don't shout. You can't. You won't shout until I turn it out. Because I'm the grand master, the master blaster. I tumble the walls and I sip the plaster. And no one cuts a wreck it faster. And when I rhyme, you know I cause a disaster. Grand master. Stop the house until the beats are sweet. Huh. I'm going to turn it out. I'm going to do it like this. And you feel like that. Because you know. You know. You know. You know, you know, you know, I can never be whack, and I get no slack, I'm gonna hard attack, and I'll be back, and when the party's over, cause I know about the name of the gas, and don't want to fly, to the day I die, and I'm rock a funky rhythm, that ain't no lie, so check it out now, now, you don't shout, shout, you won't shout, till the turn is out, you know I got the bass in your face, and rock it at a steady pace, and keep the glide in my stride, and never have to run it high, and I'm a true, as a Jew, never see me acting fool, having fun in the sun, and shine, because I'm number one. Drop it strong all night long, hit me to the break of dawn. Hip hop, you see bop bop, you put the feet on, the rhythm, your feet on, the rock, you put the feet on, the beat, you know. Stop, 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 stop,
my child was due, I was stepping into something I was totally new. Stepped out of my mom, the bright lights were the fast, so I slipped on my chain, made it like a pound. So I turned to my mother, who then was in shock, and my father passed out. So I turned to the doc and said, yo, do me a favor, okay, if you can, cut me loose from the course so I can see who I am, and it's me, me and me, rock, rock, you and you at what top property. Right about yeah. now, I'm yeah. great master Cass. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my rhyme and then I'm leaving, all right? I'm gonna dedicate this rhyme to all the homeboys from Brooklyn. Now, homeboys, I wanna find out, are your homeboys, to answer me a question, have your homeboys ever got caught in the bed with a girl by their parents? A lot of y'all, right? A lot of y'all. But you here now, you here now, right? You ain't dead, right? Well, shit happened to me, so I'm gonna tell all the homeboys that what happened to me when I got caught in the bed, all right? It was a long time ago, but I never forget. I got caught in the bed with a girl named Yvette. Well, I was scared like hell, but I got away. That's why I'm here talking to you today. I was out there on my school, slipping up the rock. Crowd of people all around, listening to my box. Just me and my fan, and some guy from the crew. Chilling hard, cause we had nothing better to do. It was me, the L, the A, and the R. And then I slipped away to make a phone call to this very day. It was a move I regret, but I didn't know then, so I called Yvette. I said, hello, pretty mama. It's your Love a man today, baby, come on over as quick as you can. I I'm said, I can't up. come now. Someone's coming to get me. Then she said, I'm all alone. There's nobody with me. I thought for a second, oh, shit, she's alone. I was knocking at her door, but she hung up the phone. Then she let me in the house and gave me a kiss to say, right Give up. me that thing that you know I miss. So we went into a room and we got high, but she couldn't keep her hand from off the fly. So I made her lock the door and went to check it. When I came back in, the girl was naked. That was my cue to do, to do. I took my clothes. Off and started on the proof. Well, I was tearing shit up. Then by the quarter to three, she said, Can somebody come in? I said, Yeah, me. Then the door bust open. The there was a the I thought, Damn, they could have waited till I finished my stroke. Her mother wasn't shocked. I bought a wreath on the shelf. Pulled down the 45. I almost shit on myself. Said, Please don't shoot. And pleaded my case. Said, You'd have done the same thing if you was in my place. Uh -huh. But it could my life. Believe me, friend, you'll never see me around your daughter again. But don't ask me why. But he let me leave. I ran 26 blocks and I stopped to breathe. Gave thanks to God. He wasn't too upset. I went home and thought about poor Yvette. He must have beat her ass for everything I do. I can hear the girl screaming all the way in my room. And even though I don't see Yvette no more, I know she ain't as fine as she was before. So I'm wrap it up, y'all. So it's on stop. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm signing yeah. off. Yeah. Brooklyn, I love you. Brooklyn, I love you. Oh, oh boy, 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 boy. come on. All right, my turn, my before turn. Before I leave, before I leave, all the people I sat around for, say GMC. Say GMC. That's me. Dr. Rock, oh, my man. Well, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see what you can do with a mic in your hand. And I'm fresh, y'all. And I'm fresh, y'all. And I'm the best, y'all. And then I rap for the fresh out the pack, y'all. As I rock, haha, <laughs> I could never be the whack. One day on the trip, I went to Rome. To the put my shades, I was all alone. It was a pretty place, and the grass was green. I saw something crazy I'd never seen. The boys were wearing color blinds, said they had pretty girls, but they had grass skirts. Called the lady in the act for me. She looked at me as if I was insane. 
I was the in the ear, said, what's the matter? She turned her head and I got mad. I put that Amazon, the one that I do. And then she wrote in words, I don't understand you. I took it to the store, there was something I took. And then I told the girl, I sold a language book. So I could understand what she had to say. So I could tell her, let's go to bed today. I took her hand out the side of the walk. And I was looking in my book and decided to talk. I reached in my box and it's listening to take And she hung me and kissed me and thought I was great. I kissed the back, I like I had it like that. Cause you know I could never, never, never be the whack. She told me in life we do a superstar. And you the man to run and was yelling in the car. Sick girls in my games out of rock. If my name is soon to be elected in the Hall of Fame. I turned my head and what did I see? A sorry knucklehead was trying to MC. I went to him, I said, what are you saying? Sounds like a kid if you were breaking. Reached in my box as a rock the rhyme. And then the record they were playing before a good time. I said it that rhyme, said it very calm. I thought it was better than the rock the no black, every song, Amazon was off a rock trap. You think this is weird, the cat has not live. MC got a rock cat, not the wild. That followed me around with MC. I spent, then they offered me cash. It took every last cent until the day that I had to go. And then it's six months later, it's a semi old. I got on the plane and started to regret it. That'd be one tip of all, never forget. Master Rob, Master Rob, my man. And let me see what you can do with the mic in the hand. So I got a rock, my mellow. It's all you, so what you gonna do? I'ma do it like this, I'ma do it like that. Like that. Keep that whack from off my track. The whack make it time to keep the whack back out of my car. I cause a heart attack, cause I'm two for one. I'm loads of fun, and then I know the beat it better cause I just forgot. And then I rock side east, I rock side west. And then yeah. I got my teeth to cause a mental joy of regret. And then oh, I rock yeah. my hip, and then I rock my house. And then I rock it to the beat, but I don't, 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 I don